hi guys uh, welcome to my channel audio video me uh, today I'm gonna show you how to do by wiring and by amping on a speaker that supports it uh, for this demonstration for this workshop I'm using a Tenoy uh, Sensus C uh, speaker that supports uh, by wiring and by amping uh, if you look at the back of the speaker there are uh, four terminals and uh, uh, they are bridged by uh, a plate uh, as you can see uh, the lower terminals uh, they are uh, low frequency positive low frequency negative uh, the upper terminals are high frequency positive high frequency and negative uh, if you are connecting your speaker in a, a single wire mode uh, leave these plates uh, connected uh, and connect one wire to high frequency positive uh, and the other wire to high frequency negative and then the positive wire goes to output uh, port on your positive output port on your amplifier and the negative wire goes to uh, negative output port on your amplifier uh, uh, but this is this video is not about single wiring this is about by wiring and by amping uh, to then to start with just remove these plates these bridging plates okay and uh, once you have removed the plate now you're going to need uh, a by wiring uh, cable uh, either you can order uh, from uh, online from amazon uh, or ebay or you can custom made yours uh, i have custom made mine i'll show it to you so basically uh, you're going to need four uh, good quality uh, speaker wires and I'll show it to you uh, okay uh, so now what I've done is uh, uh, this speaker wire uh, is uh, high frequency negative and I have marked it uh, high frequency as uh, by putting uh, uh, electrical tape uh, on upper end of the wire uh, this is low frequency negative again I have put like uh, electrical tape on lower end of the wire this is high frequency positive I put uh, a red electrical tape on top of the wire and uh, low frequency positive I put I've placed uh, uh, red electrical tape on lower lower end of the uh, wire to differentiate uh, which one is which uh, the other end of the wire uh, what you do is the uh, higher frequency positive and lower frequency positive I've used a banana plug uh, and couple them uh, so you should do the same and lower uh, frequency negative and uh, higher frequency negative I've coupled them with uh, black banana plug uh, and this is this is going to go to the output ports on your amplifier uh, to start with just insert the high frequency negative to high frequency negative port and screw it with the black bolt no need to screw too tight just make sure that the when you pull the cable it doesn't come out also uh, yeah, you you can also use the banana plugs to connect to these terminals okay then this is the low frequency negative again use the black mark bolt to screw it so 
So now I've connected the high frequency negative and low frequency negative. Same with the high frequency positive terminal. And again use the red bolt. Finally, low frequency negative, I mean low frequency positive, and screw it in with the red bolt. Once you have made these connections, just make sure your when when you uh, try to pull the cables out, they don't come out, and the connection uh, to all four terminals they are uh, firm. Okay. Now uh, the other end of the cable uh, is going to go to the output uh, positive and negative ports on the amplifier. So I'll show you the back of my amplica amplifier. Okay. Okay. The uh, vacant ports, as you can see, uh, this is the uh, uh, positive output port on my amplifier uh, in red, and uh, below the red one there is a, a black negative output port on the amplifier. So I'm just gonna connect uh, positive and negative to output ports on the amplifier okay while you're doing this uh, just make sure that uh, your amplifier is switched on uh, switched off uh, now once you have uh, made these connections uh, just grab uh, one of your favorite CDs uh, and and then just test your system and uh, you will see the difference now a lot of people will disagree with me uh, that uh, by doing by wiring there is no such big difference or there is no difference at all uh, well that all depends on the quality of the amplifier the quality of the speaker uh, the passive crossover installed inside the speaker and the speaker cable itself uh, next step to buy wiring is by amping uh, for by amping you need two amplifiers two sets of amplifiers if possible use same type of uh, amplifiers if not then that's fine as well uh, the connections uh, are a bit different than by wiring so what you do in by amping is your high frequencies uh, high frequency positive high frequency negative goes to positive and negative ports uh, output ports on your first amplifier and uh, the lower frequency positive and lower frequency negative goes to the uh, lower frequency uh, I mean uh, positive uh, and negative output ports on your second amplifier uh, if you are connecting uh, your left and right uh, speakers uh, then just make sure that uh, for the left speaker and for the right speaker the higher frequencies uh, they are driven by your first amplifier and the lower frequencies of your left and right speakers uh, they are driven by your uh, second amplifier uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have any uh, technical uh, questions or you need a more in-depth step-by-step uh, 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 information or method uh, about how to connect uh, the speakers by wiring single wiring uh, or 
or uh, by amping and then just leave a comment or email uh, email us all right thank you bye